So once you file for trademark protection, one of the first things you're going to get is not a bill from the attorney and not a notice that your trademark has been examined, but a bunch of solicitation letters from foreign firms offering uh, to publish your trademark application or do something along those lines. And for their wonderful services, they only want two or three thousand dollars. So let's look at a couple of these and see whether they're a real value or whether they're a scam. Okay, let's go a little further and see if these guys can pull this thing out of the toilet or the septic tank as the case may be here. Um, oh, you've got to pay them back if uh, they have any damage compensation resulting from the infringement of the rights related to the trademark patents, patent applications, utility models, registered engineering designs, or copyrights of the third party raised against him. I guess him refers to the people who made this generous offer and I think what they're saying is that <laughs> if your trademark results in patent rights and they get sued over it you've got to pay them back or something like that I think that's what they're saying um, if you guys want to you know put a comment on YouTube about this and let me know what your contract really says I'm all ears um, okay oh you've, you've also got to compensate them for any damages caused by a whole bunch of stuff that I don't understand and as well as instructions governing the economic competition. All right, I'm lost. I'm, I, I don't know what you're saying. Um, economic competition is something that results from proper use of a trademark. It doesn't result from the publication of a trademark, I don't think. Um, well, you know, guys, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna do this one either. And I would put this through the paper shredder, but it would cost me about a hundredth of one cent to put this through the paper shredder, and your offer isn't worth a hundredth of one cent. Hundredth of one cent, it's not worth it. It's certainly not worth 2,000 bucks. So, sorry, another one down the tubes. So, um, ICIP Sarcasm Central here. How do you avoid these scams? Well, the first thing is you look at what they're offering and you read it. Is it an international trademark or is it registration of a trademark? Then you look at the English. If the English looks like some horrible translation of a 16th century Arabic text by somebody who's never read Arabic before, then it's probably a scam. You also can look up the name of the company and type scam after it. And, uh, you know, let's give that a shot and let's see what happens. I bet we'll find something on these guys.